stuck to the board. Alright. So the other towns, I mean, let's just find it, we over here. And other towns avoid um, large extractions of water from who it may be that put these things in, in, into the ordinances. So restrictions of hours, limits of, uh, of extraction. And it would apply to the last meeting. I mean, it would <coughs> turn out the last meeting. It would be better turn out this time. Um, that you were to consider the concerns of the town's people. I mean, I don't see people coming here in favor of the current ordinance. Saying, you know, no, leave it the way it is. Everyone is here asking for change to avoid the company coming in and extracting large amounts. From the last meeting, the board actually reviewed a lot of the comments, and some of the comments, that is this one here. We didn't want to take and segregate it and put a redundant article into this in order to help confuse it. We felt as though it's already in the book. We're going to go by the book. But there's no restrictions of hours in the book. Is that correct? So how would we have done Well, the restriction of hours is going to be up to the board when they take and look at the proposal, what the impact is, and whether or not where do you want to take the law. I think that's what I'm saying. <coughs> and to begin with, then it's not something that's there, there are restrictions regarding noise ordinances and things like that, where certain businesses are not allowed to operate before 7 a.m., that kind of thing. That's, that's, that's the hours operation. That's how you restrict their hours of operation is through the noise uh, I really believe that, that people realize the serious magnitude of this kind of operation and the far-reaching implications that are involved. They want to be heard. They are really afraid that through some cozy, crafty procedure, this water extraction business will be railroaded. What we really want and insist upon is the democratic right to definitely say yes or no, and that means no ands, ifs, or maybe. <laughs> Thus, we the people have spoken. We see what could be a very dismal situation somewhere down the road. I hope we are not flirting with disaster. There is such a thing as the wind, and I believe that time is now. Thank you. In my view, there are just too many unknowns about this large-scale water extraction. Um, how do we know that the extraction won't pollute the source? How can we be assured that the quality and quantity of water in our wells will not be compromised? How do we know that the level of our lakes will not be reduced is it even possible to know how large-scale water extraction can change the size, structure, chemistry, and capacity of our aquifers or other groundwater sources? What are the terms and conditions which would accompany any permit for large-scale extraction? And I compliment you for addressing that in this ordinance my first chance to read it. But what are the penalties for not abiding by it? Uh, might these penalties merely be seen by the extractor as a cost of doing business. Which governmental bodies police the activities of the extractor to enforce the terms and conditions of any permit which might be granted? And exactly how would they conduct their policing? And how often? If violations occur, how are they prosecuted? Who initiates the action? Who collects the fines of compensatory damages? There are just so many unknowns in this that proceeding with, with it seems to me that, that, that not to proceed with it right now seems to be the only reasonable action. And if and when, and only if and when, the unknowns can be truly known, should any permit for large scale extraction be considered. And if it is, it must be granted in significant terms and conditions which would guarantee no harm to the environment diminishment of quality of life for shock and residents. Yeah. I've been listening to everyone. I was, um, may I make a, a suggestion in a small group of citizens form to work with the planning board to put together an adequate ordinance with respect to the large scale water extraction. Other towns have done this. Because the way the ordinance is written right now, the public will never vote to accept it. It's too inadequate. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the hydrogeologist being independent, that isn't even worth it. It has to be independent from the applicant, and I think it should be. Uh, the other thing that I didn't see in there was 
So what kind of remuneration uh, will they, should, it should be in the proposal, but uh, they're going to tell them just what they're going to pay the town for this amount of water. Uh, but that has nothing to do with the ordinance. That will be money strings to yeah. fall because of this. At the end, directly with the okay. Nothing to do with money. And the other thing is, you know, here we're trying to invent the wheels. We have people from Carson Steel that have really worked hard at it. I charge you people to talk to them and really see how we can tighten up this proposal. Okay. Well, I had a chance to review the company something online yesterday, and it is up on the town website. It does talk about light industry. It does talk about preserving the rural character of the town of Shapley as being the number one um, motivating force behind the company. It also talks about the concern that <coughs> business will be rapidly because of the threat to our infrastructure, which I think that we need the roads. So you can look for it for yourself on the town's website. Right. What's the question we can hear you? I, I was no. just curious whether the slide or a hold it would be Last I know, yeah. for, as far as I know, we asked them whether or not they would take a postponement <coughs> until at least March to put it on the <coughs> town meeting agenda. And it is not going to be postponed. It is going to be held in August at a special town meeting for whether or not to allow Poland Springs to drill on town property. In doing so, I'm pushing hard, even though it's not right. I need something in the ordinance to assist the board. I don't care if we amend it. Oh, my. I'd like to have something. So you are looking for public input. You just wanted to tell us the way it was, right? Is there a, do your job. No, I'd like to have That's something to do. I can't take and do a whole new one and then have two public hearings. I understand that. So the time frame is messed up. You need a moratorium. You need a moratorium. Yeah. 